The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here with the Tiger Technicians Hour. And we're also looking at a very interesting phenomenon because even today we were speaking about this uh, for about uh, maybe 10 days already. All those round numbers, and we spoke about NVIDIA. And you know what? NVIDIA had a high, all time high on Friday of 666.00. Uh, I mean, really, a zero uh, unchanged. I mean, this is when you don't go to the pennies, but you go to the zeros. It means that someone is either buying or selling with a degree of, I wouldn't say hysteria, but a degree of determination. They just got to get it or they've just got to sell it. Well, it turns out today it had a 677 round number low. That's uh, 11 points higher. It ran up to 694.97, and now it's trading a 688.72, up 27. So this to me is a, a kind of a benchmark in video graphic processing uh, work, work for workstations, games, uh, mobile devices, chips. It's really important. So we'll keep an eye on this. Now let's just go to the market, and we've seen this in so many stocks, and it just – it says to me that something is going on here that's just a little different to what we normally see. Actually, I wouldn't say a little different because I do see round numbers at, at, at market change, uh, trend changes. But this is – the number is quite extraordinary. I don't want to go over them. It's already about 40 or 50 that I counted since last, uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday alone. So something's, something is happening that's a, a change in personality. Let's just go through this. The Dow at this particular point is down 262, at 38,390. Now, the way I've counted it, I, I don't see any other way that I can get this as a peak seat. Does that mean they're still going to be over the, the week? There's going to be some residual strength at some point. There's a little spike to the leg D or just a, a tiny failure under that uh, 38,783. We'll see. But look what, what has happened here. We've already got the S&P. Remember the Chapman wave, always looking for PDs, and that's where other things can happen. Went to a leg D uh, on Friday, and that was, I should have typed that in a little earlier on. I forgot to do that. At 49.75.29, let me just change that, 40.75.75.29. And today we're at 40, wait a minute, that was a 49, it should have been a 49. Let me just go through that again. I think I did that a little too quickly. <laughs> so we've got on Friday, the high was 49.75.29. We've got that right there. And today it's at 49.37. So that says with the nine period moving average very strong over the 14, the price way over the nine, the MACD is strong, starting to dip a little bit, but it's still strong. Stochastic still at 84%. On balance, volume's a little overbought. But look at this gray line here in this daily chart on the left. You see, this is the daily. That's the weekly. That's the monthly on the right. Look at this. There's been a failure in the relative strength. That, to me, is quite important. And it's, that's why I've said to subscribers to my opening call, We've got to be very careful here. We've got to start implementing some short positions, and we're looking at the QQQ at 427.75, down $1.24, had a high, um, the all-time high three weeks ago was 429.25, and on Friday at 430.24. Let me just type that in, a little double top there, 430. Point twenty four, and now we're at four twenty seven seventy three down a dollar thirty. That's the QQQ. Now the weekly charts are all very strong. Uh, I'm looking at the monthly charts, still all very strong. So this is a short term uh, potential trend change. And we're looking at the IWM, the Russell two thousand. Russell two thousand is at one ninety point seventy five, down three point six six. It's not been very good at all. Just acting very poor. And gold, as I said before, it's down sharply. It's down 18. It, it isn't breaking down yet. 
it's still holding considering what the dollar's done. This is holding very nicely if you're looking at silver. Silver is down 0 0.37 to 22.41. Doesn't look as good. Every once in a while, silver looks a little better than gold, and gold looks a little better. Than, but they're both in downtrends at this particular point. And one of the reasons is you've got such strength in the dollar. And that, of course, is a market negative. Look at this dollar. Daily chart here, leg E, very strong. Now, I've got an E, but what I've noticed over the last few weeks, I like to look at the character of the market, the different charts. It doesn't matter where it is or what it is. If the pattern starts to match other patterns, then I have to say then this is in play. And that would say that little peak right there is an A, and this is an E, but that could be an E. And I'm going to put it in because it says this could be a longer-term move for the dollar and a longer-term move for a pullback in the market, which it deserves. We know that. Uh, leg A in the in the weekly chart, the monthly chart says, eh, the dollar's just nothing to see here. But, boy, that that daily chart above the highs that were made back in December, way above the 200-period moving average, all very positive. And if you look at the EUR USD, obviously it's going to be coming down. It's gone. It's testing and just broken as the, the dollar has broken that December high. So the, let me just get, this is a euro dollar currency pair. This is the right here, daily chart, the low that was made. Uh, and this is the, this, the price has changed over a period of time. But right now the price for the week of the 8th of December is 1.07237. And here we are at 1.0. 868. So we're underneath that um, by a fraction. And uh, you're looking at the USD JPY, that'll be the yen. That's the dollar yen currency pair. Hasn't quite made it. No, they're all doing the same thing. Look at that. It's testing that high that was made on the 19th, which is at 148.806. And today's high is 148.824. So it's slightly higher. And you've got this the pairing of the uh, the dollar and the yen going in the same upside direction and the euro going down together with gold. Let me just do crude oil right now. Crude oil is very important. Pulling back shopping. So if you look at this, it's kind of saying that some deflationary aspect in some of the key metrics that we're looking at. Obviously, oil is very important. If oil is coming down, is that saying that there's an economic uh, downturn together with copper. Um, yeah, look at copper. Copper's down 0.05, uh, 3.78, right? 3.76. Very sharp move to the downside. And I, now I have to go to bonds. James Bonds. Looking at a sharp move down, uh, down 1.223, uh, 1 and 20. 2.30 seconds at 120 and 8.30 seconds. Very sharp, almost like a uh, one of those Chapman Wave. Look at this dreaded H pattern. Only went to an A and it's pulling back really sharply here. Um, wow, look at the TBT. Inversion of the TLT. Very sharp. With that said, we're going to a big puzzle Chapman. I get the fish power. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. back and we're looking at this as a little thing. Let's see if we've got anything here. Oh, we have Larry Pesavento on the line. Larry Pesavento, how are you? I hope you're feeling a lot better. Uh, Basil, I feel okay, except that I don't have any voice. I don't have any symptoms of anything serious, but I, I want to alert the folks to be really careful being long stocks up in here because we've hit something of a ceiling, in my opinion. So that's the only thing I wanted to uh, bring to their attention because there's a lot of things uh, telling us that we might be turning down here and with market action today. Uh, if we get that Dow Jones or that S&P below 4,900 and the uh, Dow Jones below uh, 3810. It's going to be uh, uh, pretty nasty, is my guess, but I just want to bring that to your attention, okay? I think that's really very good advice, Larry. And that, I've been talking about something that I have not seen. I, I know at this you have level I've been listening before. in it. That's another reason why I've been so bearish. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's fascinating because you have to ask the question why would fund managers? Just put in a bid, you know, in the old days when we used to have to call in something and it was all saying quarter points and you'd say, hey, get me out at 54, right? You wouldn't say 54 yeah. and three quarters or 50. And this looks to me as if there are people that are either desperate to get in or desperate to get out. And for, for a week and a half, I've been seeing these round numbers. It just says to me that something is very different. We haven't seen this before, and it's really it, it's going to be significant, and we won't know for a few days. But my guess is that it is telling me that fund managers are getting out big time in certain areas and certain stocks. And I don't know more than that, but that that's the way it looks at this particular time. I don't know if you agree, but that's kind of... Yeah, I, I certainly do. I certainly do, my friend. I certainly do. And when my voice is fading, so I'll talk to you soon, and thanks for all the support, buddy. I appreciate it. Larry, get well. We miss you a lot. 
right. Thanks a lot. Thank you Bye -bye. for calling. We appreciate that. Thank you very much. This is Larry Pesavento, who does his show at 1 o'clock Eastern Time every day. I trade what you see. He had a little problem with his throat, as you can hear. And we just hope that he gets better really soon. So let's just do this. We go back to what I was looking at in the market. Let me have to just change this. Go back to... Uh, questions in the den let me let me follow through with this you can see this is the e-mini you can see this is the one minute chart right over here on the left just come tumbling down in the five minute chart right here you got this big candle and then you had you remember the, in the travel wave we're always looking for that fourth highest peak we call it peak d a b c is the third highest peak b d is the fourth it went right there to the 474 level and it came down and now we're at 449 44. I mean, that's you know, that's a pretty sharp pullback. And now I needed to go back to our story right, right here. So I needed to show you something that I think is very important. If you're looking at the TLT, so you remember I had spoken about this, oh, quite some time ago. I said, I, I don't have anything as uh, in terms of the dark news cloud cover or dark news index that I talk about where there's always something out there that's very negative, but the market a lot of the time just ignores it. But every once in a while, it becomes important enough that it takes notice. And what I'd say is the uh, keep your eye on the bonds. And remember, bonds were actually going sharply higher so that yields had come down. And keep your eye on <clears> – <throat> excuse me – and keep your eye on the other aspects that I like to look at, and that would be the dollar. And the dollar is kind of, you know, the um, dollar wasn't doing very much. Well, for the last couple of days, we've had a very sharp move up, especially since that Wednesday speech uh, with Powell talking about yields and that he didn't see anything at this particular point that led him to believe that he should make the, the change in direction official. He'll wait. He needs to see evidence. He wants time on his side to say that, yes, we've got a deflationary aspect here. Well, all of a sudden, there's no choice. I have to put the rectangle in right here. And I say we're looking at this kind of double top area. Well, we'll see if that's going to turn out to be something of importance. And that's right here. And it goes back to that uh, rectangle that I always put when I'm looking at the internal high and the residual high. And they might have made an internal high, residual high here. I am not even sure how we can get to that big C. It will be one of the most unusual times to make an all-time high and failed in the Chapman wave at a leg C. I, I do have other wave counts, but it was so clear that that's the way it should be. I'm not going to not going to mess around and say that the pattern was wrong. The market is always right, and that's all there is to it. So let's just get out of that. We want to go back to what we're looking at here. So let's just go through the questions that came in. So let's go alphabetically. Apple, major, major influence on the market over the years, but not quite so much lately. And Apple is trading at this particular moment. Uh, down, oh, it's, it's actually up 93 cents at 180 uh 684 had a huge move down to the 200 period moving average after earnings and then closed negative but with a very big green candle and today it's red but it is up uh, it hit 188.36 but you can see by this daily chart pattern it made the H formation and that weekly chart is just a sideways pattern and the monthly chart is holding still pretty well Amazon question came in about Amazon. Let's go right there. Amazon is down to almost three points at 168.84. And I needed just to put this in. I didn't have a chance over the weekend. And I'll do it right now. The high on Friday wasn't an all-time high. That was Amazon hit 188.65 back in July of 2021. Came down to $81. Um, I think it was October-ish of uh, uh, 2022. And uh, had a really strong move up, gapped up on Friday, had a high of 172.50. Let me just type that in. Whoops. Nah, I don't need that. That's 172.50. Got it. 172.50. 
and it's trading right now at 169.99. Uh, 168 actually, yep. And um, how it resolves this big gap to the upside is going to be very important. There's a leg D in the month in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly chart. So all of those, actually, all the technicals are still looking pretty darn good. It did have a 159 round number high on Thursday before the um, announcement of the earnings. So this is really good. Let's go to Goog, Google's trading at. I'm not going to Google L. I'm going to G -O -O -G. Look at that, 145.91 up 2.37. So the diversity of this market at this particular time says to me, not everything is just so negative that you've got to you know, jump out the window. Not at all. It's a rotational correction as I see it, a high-level correction at some point, and that will change at any moment. So it made a peak D with a two-bar reversal right there that was on Thursday and Friday. It goes to 152.92, then 152.78. That's a two-bar reversal. Gaps, gaps down. Oh, no, that was earlier last week. Gap down, and now it's having a bit of a bounce. So Google's okay. We're looking at a Netflix. We'll go right there. Netflix will be right back. This is Basil Chapman, Tiger Day, Nishna's Hour. I should tell you what the Dow is doing as we go out. The Dow is down 374. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Good morning, everyone. We're back, and we're looking at the E-mini down 32. But look at this. The E-mini is down 32. But the YM, this is at YM, the Dow, is down. Where did that go? Let's try it again. But the Dow is down uh, 377. And that's with Caterpillar. Let me just get there in a moment. I'll slide over. There we go. Just working with one computer instead of my usual array of monitors. Uh, we're looking at the Caterpillar, which had earnings. <clears throat> it opened, uh, it closed on Friday in the 318-ish area. It screamed at the open at 334.87. And that was, in fact, the high, and now it's trading up five. So, in other words, it was up, uh, so it's at 320, so it was up almost 20-something dollars. And now it's uh, just barely, well, compared to where it was, barely higher. This is the leg C in the monthly, leg F in the month, so C weekly, F in the monthly. But look at this. Um, so, it has Chef right there. I believe that that was a high. Yeah, it's a little difficult to see. 305.73, 305.75. All right, so this is a leg E right here. <clears throat> Very interesting. So Caterpillar did help for a little bit. Now it's not helping. I needed to look. So we were looking at Netflix. Netflix right now, NFLX is trading at... Um, down 94 cents at 563.50. Now, this is fascinating. Remember, we looked at this on Friday and I said, a sideways consolidation basically looks like a rectangle. Look, I grab it like a little flag pattern right there. Eventually, what happens, even if it pops up a little higher, the longer it goes sideways, the greater the chance if it takes out the baseline support of the rectangle, it's going to go quite a bit lower. Now, look at this. We'll look at the... Uh, here we go. 579.64 was the most recent high. I'm just going to scroll across and see if I can see any round numbers. No round numbers, no round numbers, no round numbers. And today, um, yeah, so this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, six candles in this long sideways rectangle for the moment. And we're going to watch it closely because if it starts to trade under five, it's at 563. If it trades under 557, there's a chance that the green nine period exponential moving average of 534 could be tagged. So, and the weekly chart is already for the second week, it's at PD, and the monthly is in leg D. The part of the last high was at 700.99. This is Netflix in November 2021. You missed by one penny making that round number high, all time high. And then it did tumble down to the low of, uh, let's just get this, the low of 162.71 May. 2022. So this has been a stupendous rally. Look at this huge gap. Hasn't been filled yet. And it might take a little bit to fill it. For false Amazon, Netflix, Meta. Meta is what we're missing right here. Meta had absolutely incredible earnings. It went to 585.96 with a gap up on Friday. That's after a round number of 390, then a round number of 398, and then it screamed to the upside. Today's down 12 at 463.40. And most importantly, what we're looking at here <clears throat> is that this is like a little flag right here with this gap to the upside. If at any point in the next, so I, I give it like a three day rule, if in the next day or two, it, it closes, it can go under four, the low of, right there, I've got it, the low of 453.01, that was the low on Friday. If it closes under four, 451, 451, that's a close. It can go underneath, tag it, and then put back, go right back into the, into the bar itself on Friday, that's good. If it closes under it, it says, be careful. Offer a huge move like that. Look at this weekly chart, leg E. Mag there's nothing technically wrong 
It's just that the unbalanced volume is so overbought that just on a, a normal basis, there should be some kind of a pullback. But this pullback has to be monitored because we're in the area here that says, with the dark, now we've got the dark news cloud cover. It's got nothing to do with this candle called the cloud cover. And that just says to me, now the market is taking what it ignored, the higher rates and the higher dollar, now it's taking it seriously. All right? Uh, I'm not even going into any political aspect right now. That will come later in the year, but we don't have to do that right now. Let's just go to, okay, the question came about on, on technologies, I believe it's called, O-N, on Semiconductor Corporation, had a huge spike to the upside. It's up 552 at 76.36. I think the question is, what should I do? So for the questioner, Peak A, let me just do the Chapman wave notation here. This is peak A, right there, A. B, next high peak, goes right there. So that becomes C, and a D. Could be an instant restart, because within three bars it made a new recovery high, but I can see I don't have to do that right. Then you to peak E, then a peak F with the doji, tiny doji candle uh, back in December in the 86-ish area, and it's come all the way down and had a big spike to save the day, because on Friday, it made even a lower low. So this is a big bounce. What I'm going to suggest is, if you're long, take something off. It hit 78.75 after being in the 68s just a, a, one day ago, <clears throat> one session, I should say. Take something off, and in fact, the way this chart is looking, I would take something off, and if you are long from anywhere down in the 70 area, I would do two things. One is I'd have another part to take off if there's a, a slide under the low of today, which is at 75.44, and then I'd just wait and just see what happens next. But if it take something off right now, 76. This is just money management after. Did you expect today that you'd be up? Well, earlier on, it was more than 7.8%. It was up in the maybe 10% area. I'm not sure. And if you, it's a surprise, it's, a, it's like a gift that was given to you, take something off. But the weekly chart is suggesting that this is, it may be a news, could be earnings. If it's an earnings related report, this is very good. If it's just because the semiconductors are moving sharply, that's not a good sign because it's bound to test the 68 level. So that's why I'm saying just a little bit off money management. But if it does slide underneath today's low, maybe take another little bit off, and then I would just hold it. And then we can talk, look, at, look at it again tomorrow. Next, another question came in. Eli Lilly, Eli Lilly um, coming out with earnings, had a huge move up, $43. What a huge market. We've got a different standpoint, 98. Um, I'm not sure about anything other than saying just the money management of Nick. But oh, this is fantastic, actually. All time high. You know, I live in the last one or two. Very much good for that. I'll be right back. That's a chance. See you in a few months. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, so, a question about Microsoft. Microsoft is the one that I left out. Uh, um, we're looking at down five, uh, about five, six dollars at 405.48 to hit uh, an all time high on earlier last week. It had that push to the 415 level, holding very well, but I think it's going to be digesting this huge. I should mention that we are long from 338. Um, yeah, I think it's going to have. Uh, we haven't done anything. We just now at this point we're just watching it to see where we could add back. But I uh, didn't think of shorting or doing anything. Just keeping positions and that's it. But I do believe it will be part of the uh, digestive phase that we're going through. If we're going to be going through it right here, another question came in about Bank of America. I'm I'm concerned. As I was doing my work over the weekend, I looked at this and I thought, Wow, Bank of America. Uh, trading at $33, and here again, we should, I should mention from lower down, we're long, um, but it's not acting as well as it should, and that goes together with the XLF. The XLF actually acted very nicely on Friday, Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was having pretty good candles. Uh, Friday, it did bounce, and today it's down a little bit, down 34 cents at 38 point. 64. I do not want to see the financials, the XLF. The reason why I haven't said that I think that this is a huge big crash to the downside, I don't see it at this particular point. I see it maybe later in the year, but not now. <clears throat> I, know I shouldn't even say crash, I should say a much deeper consolidation um, is because if the financials are holding well, you see, usually in a crisis, you get the um, let me go to this right now, the HGX, which is the <clears throat> Philadelphia housing in the housing sector index. Um, when you get a major sell-off in this index, and all it is down 13 at 640, it's holding in this sideways pattern. It, it certainly looks like it's going to go down to the 620s pretty soon. But I had a very quick peak, A peak, B peak, C, and then your D. There's that fourth highest peak right there on the daily chart. And it's a D in the weekly chart. And it's a D in the monthly with the doji candle. I'm watching this closely. Why? Because Toll Brothers, and I, I'm going to get to the financials in a moment. Toll Brothers is pulling back to 47 at 97.70. It hasn't broken down. Lenar, another big, uh, uh, one of the really fine home builders, Lenar Corporation, uh, in this rectangle, it hasn't broken down, hasn't broken up, it's just stuck in the rectangle. I'm watching this, but when the the financials deteriorate 
very quickly when you've got a huge move down in the housing, in the real estate sector. Now, it could be the other way around, but they kind of go together. And I don't see that at this point. That's why I'm saying this is more in the phase of, of what we'll call a rotation. Why would you get the semiconductors? You remember, I consider the semiconductors to be the crude oil of the 21st century because crude oil was in everything that was important in the great economies of the, of the 1900s around the world. And then from the late 1900s, let's call it the uh, 19. 50s, but it was really the 1970s and 80s, certainly when Apple came around. Semiconductors just, they're, in, they, they're pervasive. They're in everything that moves, anything that thinks, anything that moves. So that's the oil. And we've got the semis right now at a, close to all, all depends with stocks, but certainly the SMH is, look at this, at still holding, as we're speaking, it's uh, near all time highs. At one ninety one point eighty five, up sixty five cents. I don't think by the end of the day it'll be there. We'll see, but that just says to me slowly, but slowly, one by one, we've got in these different sectors in different phases of the moves. And remember, bottoms are made synchronously. Uh, you've got October's March. Those are usually the times that you make major lows, and within within the same day or a couple of days, all the indexes that are very important make their lows, even stocks. But on, on highs, remember the year 2000, it was January of the Dow, and then March was the, uh, the SMHs and the uh, uh, SPX, the S&P. Uh, it just, that's the way it works. And we've got that all the way through. And even the last October, that was October the 27th, within days, all the indices started to move up very sharply. And it's been a spectacular move. Therefore, you can expect some kind of a digestive phase. So within the questions that I was asked about, um, I did, oh, where would Amazon go was the question. Amazon, yes. So if Amazon closes any day this week under... 165 would make it easy, but I'm going to make it one under one closes under 166. It'll start to fill the gap. If the general market look the Dow, I mean this is this is a pretty big move in the Dow, right? Um, down 408 right now. So all I can say is that within the context of the different sectors, and remember the Dow is the one that has a little bit of everything. It has CVX. It has the multinational oil companies. It has um, Apple. Look at this, Apple. They're all doing different things. It has something like uh, Nike. Look at that, Nike making a low as we speak, a multi-month low. Um, not, that, not that great. Uh, you've got, and all of a sudden, you've got yourself a McDonald's. I mean, you're all over the show. This is not an industrial company anymore. McDonald's made a peak E. There was a round number that it made a peak E at um, 302.39 uh, on the 22nd of January. So here it is 302. It's trading at 285. Yeah, in the big context, it's just a, it's a PD in the weekly chart. That's important. But in the larger context, uh, it's not a big deal from where it's come. But certainly this is a big move because I now have to put a down arrow in the daily, not yet in the weekly, but uh, a down arrow, and that says you're in a sell mode. So we're all over the show, right? Um, and you've got... I'm just trying to get this correct. Uppercase D, uppercase on the way up, and Chapman wave, lowercase on the way down. Um, yes, now let's run through this quickly. Yes, SMCI. I haven't even looked at that. SMCI. This is the, type it right here. It's SMCI. Look at that. Amazing. It had a 606 round number high on Friday. This is super micro company. This is in the semis. This is really one of the lead companies in terms of actual functioning of what it does with the semis. And here it is, makes a high today of 632.46. I mean, really. That's that's incredible. This is straight now. This is... This, 
people have different conceptions of what a parabolic move to the upside is. I've always thought of a parabolic move as being relative to whatever the chart you're looking at. If you're looking at this chart of the monthly in leg E, yes, it's straight up, but it's only two months worth of upside activity. If you're looking at the weekly, yes, it's straight up, but that's four weeks, five weeks, I'm sorry, five weeks. If you're looking at the daily, it's just gone straight up from <clears throat> the 300 level it was at 306 on the 18th this day as far as I can see either makes an inverted Eiffel Tower straight up straight down or it goes sideways to consolidate I'll talk about it when we return ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, welcome back to the Chapel, and uh, we're looking at the downtown Tiger Shop. Uh, I'm down on the street. Now, a question came in about Marvell. This is in the... Uh, Marvell, there it is. This is in the semiconductor area. Marvell Tech uh, Semis Data Center, um, 5G communications, etc. Made a PD, had a round number recently. The high was 73. Let me just get it right here. 73.53. Um, and now it's trading at 65.97. This is different. This one here, I'm saying that if you're along. I would be very careful. My, the way it's looking at this point, if it at the the upside looks limited to the 67.80 area, but if it takes out 64.30, it's pretty careful. All I can say is that it's a rotational correction that's unfolding right now, and you can see it by the Dow being down sharply. It's been not as much. But the semiconductors are still up, but I don't think they're going to be up for very much longer. Stay tuned. Have a, stay tuned for Steve Rose. Have a great session. And um, just be very careful out there. Basil Chapman signing off.